Hey, we're up at the top of the field. And over there, in the background, may just be able to make out, very unlikely though, from this range, out, more horse flies. So directly over there, hidden under the shadows, if you look very carefully, is the burnt out car that was videoed last year, not when it was burning, but when it was in a good condition, after it just driven through this field of corn. I've started the camera up just to show the pond over here. Last week that was right up to the outer boundaries, so within a week, with the hot weather setting in and the lack of rain, we already have this watering hole disappearing by four feet, five feet. See all the weeds in the bottom starting to be displayed. I have to move before I get bitten to death by horseflies. The flies buzzing around on it. Loads of other flies sitting around and a few butterflies taking advantage. But if the weather continues like this with no rain, this is going to disappear in a few weeks. And then we'll be hearing about hose pipe bands. The crop is still looking pretty healthy at the moment. Although there's no rain, I don't think it's going to get to the height the farm would like to see it. This is one of the surprising things about Wheatcock Farm Housing Estate is it's right on the edge of the country and within a few minutes walk you can just head out into the fields one of which will still be here when the housing estate is built it's just the other side of the trees that line of trees there is the path that runs all the way up from Woodcraft up to a little lane that heads towards Horndean you just see over the far side the communications tower that looks like it's going to be taken down in the next few months. And although the farmers left a massive gap around the edge of the fields, which many dog walkers in the area take advantage of, a lot of the other fields are impossible to get into. And there's one just over there that would make nice access to the lane that runs to Horndean but it's been pretty well blocked off giving a bit of privacy to the owners of the house over there and last week the farmer had the perfect weather to make hay and it looks like that's all being collected up now. And if the weather continues like it's going to be over the next few weeks, that hay is going to be worth a fortune to that farmer. Nothing like making hay when the sun shines. Because there's not much else going to be grown in this sort of weather unless they get some decent amount of rain. You can see looking over the field, a lot of it is already yellowing. Even the grasses, which were lush green a couple of weeks ago, are yellowing as well. The far side of the field on the hill by the trees, the farmer hasn't even planted this year. Here's another example of one of the holes that was just full of water. Completely dried up now. The last remains. You 
just about be made out in the middle as a dried patch of mud. I guess we could say an alien landed here and created a nice patch in the corn. But now the aliens land in the field next to this one. They never landed in this one. We have a strange pit that's been dug by somebody. What I can't quite make out is where they've dumped all the soil. Because although there's a bit around here, it doesn't look to be enough to fill the hole again. in this what has become a drainage ditch along the field all the ground is cracking oh, a few horse prints in there must have been a wetter time that came along and now uh, it's not quite there it's a bit further along this line of trees just to our right is where the next footpath comes out of Woodcroft the mark of the pylon that I was to walk across that grass and put it covered in ticks. I'd come to a footpath that leads to a farmhouse just at the other end. And that also is another way to get over to Horndean. Well the ground seems to be collapsing in parts here. <laughs> 